microphone. So I am just running around. I'm going to do a little bit of antiquities so that um, you can, so I can test my microphone. By the way, I figured out last night that my overlay on this screen, you cannot see my navigational bar. You can see the N here, you can see the E, but you can't see where I'm headed, the straight part there. My my name is, is missing, so I'm gonna play around with it. I'm hoping I can get rid of that little green thing with my name in it, or at least move it somewhere else, maybe to the side or something, because I'm always going to the top and and pointing things out in the upper bar. And if you can't see it, what good is that? <laughs> so anyway, um, we're gonna do a little bit of antiquity running here. I'm gonna pull up, hit, hit J on my keyboard, and this is where your normal quests are. This is where all of your leads are listed. Now you have leads for all different areas. I happen to be in, I think it's Daggerfall. Nope, must be Ebonheart. Yep, it's East March. And if you click, if you were to go here, this was, I, I couldn't figure this out for a little while. If you look at the bottom down there, you'll see you have two choices, the codex and to exit. And the codex, if you hit the letter E, while you're hovering over that, it just goes through and gives you the history of the items that you have found. I have found three of three Nord Copper Shield boss. And so it's, you go through it and, and when you go through it, you learn the history of it. But that's not what we want to do. We want to go scrying, we want to go ser searching. So apparently these are the only ones, see scry shows there. This one requires a lead. I don't understand that. Why it says it's scryable, but still requires a lead. I don't know. And this one, I don't, it's not available either. See these two, if you look at the bottom, the E, the scry is grayed out. Whereas this one I can use. So it looks like this is it. <laughs> so we're going to do just a few of these. I'm trying to get my level up and I thought, well, heck, I'll just talk about it while I'm doing it. Now this, I'm a little further along. Let me see what level I am. Let's see. I am in evacuation. I'm a level four and in scrying, I'm a level four. It looks like I'm further along in evacuation than I am in scrying. So anyway, um, I am going to try this again. We'll go here, scry. And because my level is a little higher, I now have the trowel. I have, you, you're given the brush when you're extracting. And I have the trowel, which you get like at level two or something. And then you have a shovel. And I think the shovel I now have that I've hit level four, but I haven't mastered those yet because I don't want to take a chance of um, hurting and um, damaging the item. So anyway, but this is... When you're at level four, this is what happens. You are getting more scrying space here. I mean, there's it's there's a little bit more to it. Um, and I've seen it when I, you know what? This is because it's a green item. That's what it is. Because when I was doing a purple item, it was m smaller spaces and, and harder to do. So anyway, but I want to show you something. This little thing here, this coalescence, it says unites a hexagonal hexagon gonal cluster of facets in the antiquarian's eye, converting the symbols to match that of the central facet. So I guess if you're, you have to hit that first and you hit that and see, you get a much larger uh, pattern here and it matches whatever's in the center and it makes all of it that one particular thing. So what would be cool here, this is, let's see if we can go down here a ways. There we go. Let's show this. If I were to click on this, it's going to it's going to change all the hexagons in there to the center one and these two circles at nine o'clock and seven o'clock will connect and they'll all be the same. So if I click on that, see, it made everything the same as the center and now these two are connected. That's from using this, the coalescence. 
Now I can see where it would come in handy when you are stuck <laughs> and you're trying to get to another to another one. I am a little bit messed up here because I did that. Well, let's try it again. Let's just see what happens. Oh, nope. Can't use it. I guess it has to time out. Oh, it says I'm out of Magicka charges. It consumes Magicka. And I don't know how you know your Magicka charge. Unless it used up everything in my Magicka bar. Well, let's see what else we can do here. Can we connect? That's not connecting. I may have really screwed this up. Huh. Okay, those two, wait a minute. Why aren't they connected? Maybe because I didn't start here. Now we'll connect, here we go. There we go, that pulled it, because you have to start down here. I forgot about that. So we have those two connected. And it's kind of cool if you can get over towards the other ones, it, it works a little better. There is really nothing here to connect this one. I can do that. See, I'm going down. I'm halfway through. This is not good. Well, that one's pretty good. Let's do that. And we'll do that because this edge goes closer to that one rather than this one would connect it to, but you're going the wrong direction. So I'm going to connect with this one. And I have three more turns. Ah. Uh, Okay, let's do that. And then I need to try and connect to this one to either here or down here or something. Let me see if I can do this again. Ooh, I can. Okay, see that will connect me with that. So I'm gonna put that there and click on it. It takes two clicks. So I have connected, I've got I've attached all six of the the uh Foci, I think they call them. <laughs> I don't know. The words in this game, just crazy. So put up with me while we go through this. <laughs> okay, so we know it's over in this area. I think I should go and take the way shrine. I'm up here and I have a way shrine right there. And I think I'm going to grab this way shrine. So that's head this direction. And you can't see it. Let me see. Okay. See to on my upper bar up on top where I pointed out the north and the south before. If you look to the right of the black arrow on the left side, I'm moving it right now. That's the symbol for where your dig site is. So you follow that. It's like having an arrow and it's just that symbol. And if you're running towards it, you're going to be running towards the site. Now I'm going to go catch the way shrine. So it's not going to be nearly as bad as that. We have a way shrine over here. By the way, I know you've seen my, I don't know if I showed you, but I have the snow globe house and the entrance into my house, enchanted snow globe house. That's mine. Is this snowball? That's the door to get in. I think that's pretty cool. And you shrink down as you go into the house. I don't know why that house just fascinates me. I am going to do some more housing uh, tours. I started and then we had issues with internet connection and my uh, our IPS company had to, uh, it was a mess, came out new antenna, new router, everything. And we are up and running again. I just wasn't doing as much as I could because I couldn't. So uh, I was able to do some of our guild events, but that was about it. Oh, look, if I go to the right over here just a little bit, I don't have to go into that stinking fort. Let's see if I can get up here and at least find out what, where the distance, where it's at. Because once you are in the area, come on, come on, come on, come on. When will this turn green? I think it's over here. Ah, oh, there, see? The top bar right there where you see the east, the E at the top of the screen to the left of Madam Mix. See how it's a different color? It's gone kind of a greenish color. That's because I am inside of this defined area for the, for the dig. Now, let's go in a little ways. And if you remember, oh, I found it without even doing it. 
Well, I'm going to pretend like we didn't see it. Okay, we'll just pretend so you can see what happens when you use the the uh, the uh, uh, thing that's not equipped. Um, oh yeah, there it is. Okay, we have to make sure that it is. Oh, that's it. Crouch, Misty. That's a good one. Um, tab. That's what I want. No. What the heck? Thank you. Oh, look down at the bottom. It's taking a long time. See that down at the very bottom, that white piece that's coming? I don't know why. That must be the timer. I guess I've never noticed it before. I've never looked down before. Um, so this little thing goes away. Let's watch it. We're going to sit here and watch it. Yep, there it goes. Well, that's where it goes. So maybe once this little... Okay, I wonder if we can do it again. That means that it's it's ready to go again. Yes, okay, cool. So see, I learned something every time I do this. Um, down at the bottom, you cannot use your little directional finder until that white is gone, until it has turned a bluish green again. I hope that makes sense. Okay, we're at the dig site. See, I've got, here's your nine moves to excavate and find where we're, where the um, item is. Here's the brush. That is um, the first tool you're actually given when you do the first little quest. Uh, here is the shovel. No, that's the trowel. Here's the shovel. I haven't used the shovel yet, but when you're trying to dig down, these big rocks take more clicks of the mouse to get down more turns than these do because you're trying to get through. And let, let's let find it. Then I'm going to try the shovel and see if I can use it. If not, then we'll use the trowel first. Okay, so we have nine and we want to find out. This is like playing hot and cold. Um, you need to find the green. If you find red, orange, you're getting closer. Red is furthest away. Then it goes to an orange square then a yellow square. Yellow square is connected somehow to the green. And the green is the one you want. And there's usually six squares that make up the actual item that you're looking for. So let's try this out. There is an orange, orange, and it, I think because the red is coming out of it, there might be red decks to it. But you see the archway in white? That means the green is in that archway somewhere. That was a good one to come through because some of them are hard to explain, but that way is an archway. Somewhere in there, you will find the green. So hopefully I will hit a yellow next when I go in or even a green. That one was inside there. Okay, now we have a, a new area. It's made it smaller and we found a yellow. So we're pretty certain we're going to find where the green is right now. Let's go over. Let's try this. No, let's try this one. Yep, there we go. See, you know, I didn't want to go over here, this direction, because this it would be too close to the orange, so it had to be this way. Let's check this one here. Nope, so it's up here. Let's see if it's here. And here. Nope, so it's going up here. I have one left. Now I know this one's green also. Okay, and it doesn't do any good if you don't use them all up on the um, auger because I was hoping that maybe, oh, I didn't use the last one, that maybe it would keep it for next time and it would add on and uh, do that. So we're going to take, let's take the shovel and see if this works. See if we can, oh, wow. Let's see. We may just... We're going to test this and see what happens. I can see how big the area is that the um, shovel covers. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Why is it changing color? See the red and the blue? That's weird. Okay, why? Okay, well, I'm going to put it over here. You can see where it is. It's covering this, all six of those squares. Let's dig and see what happens. Oh, my level's not high enough yet. They gave me the dang thing, but I can't use it. So let's go to the trowel and we'll try the trowel. Ah, same thing, but it's just one. 
Okay, we'll take one of these squares that has a lot more rocks in it than the others. Oh, I can't use that tool either. Hmm, okay, we're stuck with the brush. I've used the trowel before. I have to look that one up. I guess I need to do my, when I do my crafting is bring up my level of intuition. Okay, let's do this. What? I have it. Oh, okay. It didn't. The W had not lit up. I was going too fast, I think. They're fixing it, people. They're fixing the game. Don't worry about it. It will get better. I mean, we've come through COVID and Zoss, who's been working on it from home, everybody from home, um, you know, they got to do what they got to do. Everybody has issues with work. So please don't come down on people in the game. I mean, don't come down on the game. My opinion, and a lot of people complain, but they're just complainers. Okay, so we're going to try this now. Get off my soapbox. So there's one, two. Ah, oh, see, I got a corner of it. So it's going to be going this way. Or no, it'll be going this way. So let's do this one. One, two. And see, there were more rocks there, so I have to click it three times. Oh, four times. Oh, that's not good. See, that's, I mean, it's they're getting harder to do. And see this yellow bar at the top? And oh, you can't see it because my layover, my layover, my overlay, layover, my overlay is under where my name is. See, I'm going to fix that soon, real soon. But the health bar, I mean, you can't see the whole thing anyway. There is a health bar to this item that we're digging up. And it's you can't see it, but it's there's a number 10 in the center. So it has a life of 10. Just like you have NPCs that you're going to go kill are 32 point some percent. You know, it's crazy. Anyway, okay, let's just keep going here. Okay, and it tells you on the upper right. You can't see that either. Okay, it's telling me in the upper right, you are already at the bottom of the pit. If you get a dunk sound like you heard there, that means we're down at the end of the body. And we are at the bottom of the pit. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I just, you know, I just, anyway. Okay, we do need to do this one because it's got the corner of the thing. Okay, three, got that. And then we have to go one, two. Ooh, only two got that one. One, two, less rocks. Ooh, I found it. Okay, now see at the, no, you can't see it. Well, I have more clicks available to me and there is always a bonus loot. Now I have been finding bonus loots like right around the item. Probably fell out of the canister or something. But, um, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Oops, see, it said you are already at the bottom of the pit. And I went because I went to hit it three times. Now, this one will take three clicks, I'm sure. One, two, three. And I'm down at the bottom, see? And then this will be two. One, two. We haven't found anything yet. One, two. One, two. Nothing. One, two. It's probably here. One, two, three. Nope. Try here. Two, three. There it is. See? Oh, I guess we're getting... I'm, it used to be right next to it. Getting higher in level apparently moves it out of it. Makes it a little harder. Okay, so what I was scrying... What I was excavating... The antiquity that I was excavating was a Nord Copper Shield boss. I don't know what that is. A shield... Oh... Why did it do that? Um, we've got a lead for a wolfhound brooch. A new lead was given to me. And a dragon paperweight. That's the bonus loot that was there. So I guess it's telling me I have to exit. Or this guy was over here pounding on me. That could be. <laughs> He's hiding behind the box now. What is his deal? Oh, man. Okay. Thanks, buddy. If, if you know that I'm streaming or something, why don't you, uh, if you
if you're listening, <laughs> why don't you uh, follow me or something? And then, uh, you know, I need people to follow me. I just got started this a couple months ago and I'm learning. I'm learning. I'm trying to come up with content that is more educational because that is the goal of our guild is to be more educational um, for we try to help out new people in the game because it is difficult to get started. A lot of people leave because of it. Okay, so we did that. I found one. Um, oh, and I'll go into my inventory. Inventory. And see, I have the dragon paperwork worth 40. And I got a copper shield boss worth 250. The green items are 250. Blue are 1,000 gold. And the... I think. Hold on. Let's look here. Yeah. The blue are 1,000. Purple are 5,000. And I have some gold. I don't know what it's worth, though, because I haven't been able to get to that level yet. It would be kind of cool to find out. Huh. One of these days. Malakath's Band of Brutality. Woo-wee. Okay. Um, I can't do any of these. I wonder why. I did blues yesterday. Huh. I don't know. I don't know why. Okay. If anybody's out there and my mic's really not working well, could you please let me know in chat? And you may want to know why I have a chicken as my logo. Well, there's my chicken. That's chicken licking. Or I probably should come up with a better name. I should probably have a contest for naming my chicken. That would be fun, huh? I think I'll try that. Um, but not yet. I need a few followers before we can do that sort of thing. Um, and the, the reason I like the chicken, the reason I like the chicken, you go into a dungeon or a delve, you're in some place, uh, you know, it echoes. It echoes in there and everybody goes, what was that, a chicken? And I love it. Anyway, well, let's do one more. Let's do one more. You can do these anywhere, but we'll stay right here. Jay, we'll do this one again. Uh, I've got three of three, but you can go higher just to get them so you can sell them. This could be a real money maker when you get up in level as far as uh, scrying is concerned. I can't do that one. What the heck? Okay. Oh, I'm not underscribable. <sighs> See, that's me. I can scry that. I can scry that. Okay. So I can scry the blue one. We got to, let's try the blue one. Let's scry that sucker. Okay. There. Okay. Here's the difference. These foci, as they call them, um, in the other go this way so that they're a little bit like this one over here, you know, and they're a little bit more in line with each other, a little easier to get. I would imagine by the time you're level 10 or something, or you're way out here having to, to connect them, and it may not be too easy. Um, well, let's go this way. That's a good one. Cannot select own fast. What? I've already put it down, I guess. Oh, there we go. Connect two at the same time. That was good because it went to both of them. Now, oh, that gets that one. Let's try that. Now, you can get over to these by using any one of these edges over here that goes, that will create a new thing. A new thing. Is there anything over here that gets over here better? Well, that goes like that. But then what have you got over here? Hmm. Well, let's do this. I have, I've taken one, two, three out of six turns, maybe. Let's do this. Let's go this way. Hmm, this way. It ain't so, I'm not doing so well here. Okay. 
I have three left. Okay, that's good. There's that one. One. Two. And I'm not going to make it. I didn't. Oh, I can. Did I do all of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. I did. Oh, I didn't realize it. <laughs> I get confused. So, you know. We're going to go here to the, we're going to continue. We're going to go to the logging camp way shrine because it's right there. We're going to go to the logging camp way shrine. Okay. There's another scryer in his Nord bathing suit. Bath towel, they call it. Okay. Now you can't see it again. See where that little black arrow is at the top of the screen and the symbol is there. I have to head towards that symbol. Look at the map and yes, I I will be inside the green area very quickly. Oh good, these are not bad people. Okay. You can see this, the bar under my name up there where it says west and north on, on the left and right sides has turned green. That's because I am inside this area. It's like when you do quests and they give you circles. They give you circles to be within, like in a dungeon, go to that green circle. Well, these are irregularly shaped, but it's the same concept. Okay. Ooh. Well, I don't have time right now. I'm ruined. Oh dear, all these people, come on. Let's see. Okay, so we're going to hit our quick bar. Hit Q. And you can see we have to go that direction, right? Through the rock. So you have to kind of figure out. I'm sorry, people. It is right about there. So we have to keep going straight that way. So it's kind of like a little left of north. Little left of north, and it's not. I was afraid maybe I passed it up. I've done that too. Okay. Hmm. I am not going to. Okay, she's doing it, but that one did not come up with sparklies for me. Oh, we'll see. We're going to farm as we go. If you're a crafter, this is just part of your life. You see something and suddenly you feel like you have to do it. It's it's like, I have to take that. Okay, we're going to do the thing again. I'm going to hit Q and I should get another. Oh dear, it's that direction. Okay, it's towards the eye. No, a little left of the eye. Let's go around the bend here. Yes, hello, Mr. Deer. We're going to go around the bend, pick up a little Blessed Thistle, and okay, now I don't know, a little left of the eye, I wonder if it's just over this way. Okay, I do not know. I have not seen it. Maybe it's on top of the mountain. I don't know. Let's hit the Q again. Yep, it's back this way. Okay, I haven't seen anything yet. There it is. There it is. Ta-da! The dig site. Okay, we're going to do this again. Okay. We have eight turns. Since this is a blue item, the wolf head, it's a more valuable antiquity. Um, we only have eight turns this time to find where it's in here. So you really have to be pretty cool. I usually start right about here. Oh, you can't be any luckier than that. Oh, good. Yes. So it's either here or here. Here or here. Here or here. What do you think? Let's do this and see. Oh, nope. It's got to be up here. 
What? Okay, so I'm not going to be using four of them. I know that they are here because I know how these things lay out. So we're just going to leave these four. It would be nice if they left them for you for next time, but that doesn't happen. So we're going to use the W again. Let's dig here. See, there's a corner of it. Well, this one's a little different than the last one. It's not the silver canister that we saw. It's a bag. Two, three. There we go. Found it. So, and blue items have health of six, so you could damage it a little easier than um, a green item. Okay, so I've got, I don't know how many, this yellow bar at the top means how many moves I have. I don't know, but we're going to just go until we have no more. <sighs> See, no bonus found, but I did get the wolf head brooch. Okay. Well, that's good. Um, in my inventory. See, I can sell it for a thousand gold, and it's just a treasure, so it's nothing more than that. They've when you're doing the scrying and you, um, you've, oh no, when you've done the excavation and you've dug up the item and you know what it is, when you've gone for the first, the same thing, the first three tries, see, I found four of these, but the first three times I did it, it came up with what shows in the codex, this, you get one of these for each one of them and so it explains what this item is so at the top it says um, a decorative shield boss nordic mid fourth century first era nord shields grew larger over time in the later years of the nordic empire and accomplished warriors began to adorn the center boss with scroll work and natural designs okay uh, second one says lovely. The stylized leaves, and see, it's the second one here. The stylized leaves in the design appear to represent ash trees renowned for the strength and the durability of their wood. Perhaps the owner held a special reverence for the Kinsgrove and sought the keeper's blessing. And then the last one here is this third one. It says this belongs to a fighter, not a priest. The ash Leaves are also em emblems of Shores Hall that lies in a distant grove of Sovngarde, guarded by God-touched heroes. The bearer of this shield meant to find death in the battle and join their ranks. So in other words, he was out to kill and to be killed if something happened in Sovngarde, of course, I'm sure you're aware, is where all the heroes go after death as we saw in Skyrim. Okay, I think I'm gonna run over here. Oh, shoot. Uh-oh. Okay, guys, you're in my way. I don't like to, but you know, when it comes to something that you need for crafting by, you do gonna kill. Okay. Um, oh, sorry. Slip of the fingers. Okay, it is now 2.45, and I've got an event coming up in a couple of hours that I'm going to stream. We do world bosses, and this time it's going to be world bosses in Vardenfell. And I need to send a message to the guild members to remind them so that hopefully they'll show up. We usually get a good, a good crowd. The, this world boss run is, is run by Celestial Legacy, who is our sister guild. Um, we do a lot together. We just met one time with the other guild master and a couple of people, and they hit it off with our guild master and, and me. And so it, it's really hel helped us all the way around because we have more going on and not as much work. So anyway, 
this is it. I'm going to go home. Oh, you know what? Let me, I'm going to show you how I go into my house now. See, when you don't use a way shrine, you go like that. It's like a, the lowest I can get a ride to the way shrine without going to one is 146 gold. Newer characters, it's cheaper, but anyway, I want to show you that. Oh dear. Oh, excuse me. I was up early this morning, 4.30. I haven't laid down. Old lady gets tired early. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show how. Now watch my tune. This is pretty cool. Pretty cool, huh? A lot of people don't use their front door to go into their house, usually pour it into it, but I thought I'd show you that one. It's pretty neat. Well, I guess that's going to be about it until 5 Pacific in an hour and 15, hour and 10 minutes, something like that. And we're going to do the World War, world Boss Run um, in Bardenfell. And we go for everything. We do the World Bosses. We make sure we get all the World Bosses. But Alba, the Guild Master of Celestial Legacy, um, we do everything. It's it's. And we do Cyrodiil every other Saturday, which is fun. That's a blast when we get into there. We're getting better at it. First time, man, we're a bunch of chickens. But uh, we've had as many as 24 people, I think, go with us there. And I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Sorry. The weather's been acting up. Oh, you ought to sneeze. Oh, I'm sorry. Whew. Okay, guys. This is my house inside the snow globe. Pretty cool, huh? You can see the globe, the tent that we were under. So I'm little miniature me now. So I'll see you guys. Toodles. Hopefully somebody to show up at five. Bye-bye.